Well, in this video, I'm really, really disappointed in a certain individual known as Kazuma. Now, for most points, as far as I understand of what Kazuma's been advocating for in this one video, it's just, I'm, I'm really disappointed because, uh, here's the thing. If you try and, if you try and silence people that have the habit of, uh, just disagreeing with us. Not once did I ever say that people should flag videos for people simply disagreeing with them. I'm not telling people to do the same kind of shit that the SJWs do. I'm talking about things that could be legitimately flagged. Legitimate flags, not false flags. Or, or silencing us, you realize that it's not going to end well. So says some others as well. Think about this for a moment, okay? If people are just constantly using that report thing like that, and they are for things that are, that could be considered hateful speech, um, then Google will be bombarded with this stuff. Almost all the choices that Google makes are to try to save money, to either save money or something to make money. But a lot of it is about saving money. Google certainly doesn't want to lose money. And they're having a hard time with advertisers wanting to continue giving them this money. Advertisers are also pressuring Google for this stuff. Advertisers want material that uh, is agreeable to be associated with their companies. So these advertisers want more safe stuff. And when they find that something that they've done is costing them money instead of saving money, they're going to make the change. Now, this change could be for the worst, or for the worse, I should say, not the worst, or it could be for the better. But if they are bombarded with these, all of these, these reports all the time, they're not going to want to put up with that. They're not going to want to deal with that. They're not going to, they know they're not going to find some sort of algorithm that will deal with it properly. That's going to cost them money. Think about that. I, I understand that a lot of people like, uh, like for example, recently, uh, I'm Undoomed just got his cell a flag and he had to terminate his uh, uh, video. I suppose that you're just reiterating this to your audience and you're not saying this to me. Because if you're saying it to me, that's one of the very first things I said in my video. And I understand that whole fear of having the anti-SJWs being uh, wiped off of YouTube. You were making sense and then you go, because, and then... Because uh, we have this standard of not silencing others that, wa that wish to silence us because of our principles. I understand that little fear. People worrying about SJW critics being kicked off of YouTube has nothing to do with whether or not we're flagging the videos of the SJWs. That, that doesn't make any sense. However, here's the reason why I don't agree with you. Because um, if we go down that road of silencing others that simply don't agree with us... I've never advocated for that. I'm talking about things that actually violate the terms of service. I'm talking about things that could actually be considered hate speech. All men are this. All white people are that. Um, when people go, uh, even before the terms of service were changed, when people were saying things, all Muslims are, are terrorists, or all Muslims are stupid, or all Muslims are, insert negative word here, those videos were getting taken down. And like I said, that's before they even had their, their terms of service changed. Yeah. Later down the road, regardless if this problem is fixed or not, regardless if that ever happens, we're going to come down to another situation like this, and it's not going to be pretty, and... It would be bad, it wouldn't be pretty, so on and so forth, and yes, it would get pretty bad for a while, and then something would change. 
Again, the change might be really awful, the change might be really good, who knows, but there would be a change. And I really don't want people to go down that road, because if they do, it, does people end up becoming a monster that they set themselves up to destroy? If you were to hear me somehow claiming that we should dock drop people, or send threatening things to people's workplaces or something like that, yeah, that'd be a different story. You'd, you'd fully have the right to say that kind of stuff. And those are some of the tactics that some of these SJWs use, and people like AIU like to use as well. Okay, there's no excuse for it. But a system that's in place, it's designed to be in place, it's designed to be used on a website for things that actually violate their terms of service, that's not going down some awful road. I mean, this is almost like someone getting upset because someone else reported a cheater in a multiplayer online game. Don't report cheaters. You don't want to go down that road. I mean, this is like a scenario of someone is in a, a, a first-person shooter multiplayer online game, and they've worked really hard to uh, get to uh, this status. They've gotten their points up so high, and uh, someone who sucks at the game reports uh, the person who wasn't cheating, who was just good at the game, reports them to the, the administrator, the admin of the, uh, of, of the group of people that are playing that can have uh, control over the server to some degree, and they'll have the person kicked for being too good at the game, right? And you've worked hard for that. So eventually you come back, and there are the people who are cheating, and the people who are cheating never get reported. Um, so is it wrong for you to suddenly actually report the people who are actually are cheating? Would that be a bad thing? It may seem like a strange analogy, but... And maybe, maybe in a little bit I'll go, oh, that was a really bad analogy, but right now it seems to make sense, so, you know. And we become simply no better than them. But we are better than them, Blanche, we are. Um, we don't try to dock drop people. We don't try to ruin people's lives. We don't try to get people fired from their jobs. We don't pull that shit. Not only that... Not only that, if you try and flag other people's videos, you realize that people's natural response is to also flag the other person more. I'm sure that will occur. And as I said, Google will eventually not put up with it anymore. The more times you try and flag them, they'll, they'll certainly push back. Like, that, that's a guarantee. If we can start to get them to say, you're violating my free speech, then you know we will have accomplished something significant. Because that will be a huge chink in their armor. Chink? I think that's the right word, but that's also a slur. Right now, they will try to argue that they never engage in hate speech, and that the hate speech is all on the account of the uh, the SJW critics and you know when they start to get flagged for the same types of reasons um, a lot of their arguments go out the window I mean a whole slew of their arguments go out the window like if people decide to start flagging uh, Steve Shives, for example. I'm pretty sure Steve Shives and his fans will start flagging your shit as well. I think it would be kind of hard to find something of Steve Shives that would be flaggable uh, legitimately. Um, I may hate what he says, but it would be really hard to uh, to flag his stuff for something like that. I'm, again, I'm not, I'm not advocating for flagging people's videos falsely. This has to be something that can truly be considered to violate YouTube's terms of service. Particularly in the areas that they usually accuse us of, of violating. 
And I'm not trying to be mean or nasty or anything. I'm literally concerned about you, Kazoom, because just from that one video, it just seems like you're becoming the SJW, but in the anti-SJW. In fact, I'm going to start considering you the anti-SJW SJW because uh, you're literally advocating for, quite simply put, flagging other people's stuff just to maintain that principle. This isn't to maintain some sort of principle. Okay, in that regard, I'm not really a principled person. I'm not. I try to go with what works best and has the least amount of negative repercussions in the end. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not a principled person, really. Because when I learn new information, sometimes my principles change. And that might seem messed up to some people. But I, I, I'm, I'm not going to hold on to some sort of idea if it doesn't help the situation. So, this isn't about principle. Okay, the first thing that, the first reason why I want, I, I, I suggest for people to do this sort of thing, the first reason is to see if Google has a bias. Okay, if we find out that Google has a bias, truly has a bias, and they won't take down someone's crap, no matter how nasty it is, like the Kutzo, Kutsi, whatever the fuck his name is, and the uh, sensei lady, they don't touch any of their stuff, no matter how much they're, you know, shown to be just fucking nasty. I mean, it's that stuff that they say there, I personally consider hate speech. I do. I consider it hate speech. Um, is it legally hate speech? I don't know. I'm not trying to make that declaration. I'm saying I personally find it to be hate speech. And if they're not going to take that shit down, but they're going to take down stuff that... Uh, just someone making an argument, a valid, rational argument against something an SJW says then we will see YouTube for what it really is and it will help us make a decision as to whether we want to stick on that platform. Because if they show themselves, if YouTube shows themselves as being that biased, if they start becoming more like what Facebook is, you know, Facebook that uh, just sort of weeds out articles that go, don't go with this common narrative. But, you know, if YouTube is going to just flat out go there, how many of you really want to be on the platform at that point? Of course, maybe it would force us to be a little more creative, knowing that, well, we have to, we can't say this, we can't say this, we can't say this. Let's, uh, um... Let's say things in this way. Will this get censored? But if we're going to keep getting censored for occasionally just saying something that goes against the ideology that we're speaking against or we're arguing against, um, yeah, do we really want to be on this platform if it's going to be all one-sided? You know, the worst things are shown to be on this platform for those that like to talk about esoteric subjects the more likely it is that some sort of competitor will come out of the woodwork and will actually have a place. But we somewhat have to test the system to know what we're actually dealing with. Or, and also, just... And that, that's just a scary point, really. We can't be as bad as them, because in the inevitable future, it's just not going to work out in the end. It's bad, okay? Not only that, they're going to just retaliate. And I know this from experience because I used to have a Christian channel and uh, way back when, and when some of my subs started to false flag uh, a certain individuals. So. You're mentioning false flagging again. I am not telling people to false flag people. I've never once said for people to false flag people. 
Not once. Fails, they started the false flag me a lot more, to the point where I had to delete my channel because I couldn't keep up with uh, refuting all the uh, false flaggings. And that's what I'm worried about, just the simple fact that people will do this, and in the end the result is the SAWs flagging just the anti-SJWs more, and, and they'll use that as a justification to false flag back, basically. I see what you're saying, but I hope you see what I'm saying, too. And when you try and wage this little war, just count me out of it, because I'm not... I'm not going to go against the principles that I set myself up for. And not to mention, if you if you try and navigate for false flagging, it's not going to work for your end. Again, I'm not telling people to false flag anyone. That's not what I'm saying. And, and I'm not saying you should do nothing. Like, I've recently got done with a series called the uh, YouTube TOSO system. And basically, I've been navigating advocating towards actually fixing the problem by advocating to change the TOS system in some way where it's more user-friendly. How? Who are you contacting? Do you know people that work at Google? Um, are you going to the Google product forums? Where, yeah, there's occasionally someone from Google that'll stop in, but no, most of the time they'll just have these uh, psychophants trying to defend everything that Google does that don't actually work for Google, but they'll, they'll defend every little thing and they won't, they won't budge on anything. They won't say, oh, we'll, we'll send this up to, uh, uh, you know, some higher ups. They'll say, use the feedback option. Okay. These, those are the, the routes that they give us to tell them about this stuff. Okay. Believe me, I've, I've spent probably a good 60 hours on the Google products forums, at least 60 hours throughout the past few years here. And yeah, it's, it's pointless. The feedback is pointless. The only thing that they care about are viewpoints. They'll have a plan and they'll get our input on how we could make that plan more advantageous for them. And I'm literally advocating for just fixing the darn TOSO system through a petition of some sort, and so maybe... A petition to Google? No. Do you know how many, how many signatures you'd have to have for that? Do you realize how many people would, would have to sign that? Um, no. No, they don't care. They don't care about us. They don't. They care about the... The, the, the mindless entertainment channels that are safe for advertisers. Maybe the whole community can work together and just fix it. Why can't we all just get along? Society should do this. Google should do that. And if we, we make a petition, it'll just... They'll just be friends with us and and stop wanting to make money. Hi, I'm Google Ruxpin. Can you and I be friends? And I don't know. I don't know what's the correct solution, but I'm not willing to go against my principles, and it's just, it just seems unethical to advocate for false flagging our videos. It's... Again, I never suggested to false flag anyone. Not once. They simply don't agree with you. That's that. And... And really, I'm sorry, but I'm just not going to false flag other people's content. I won't. I never ask you to.